So I was invited to give a talk as part of the debate session at IMW 2019 in Boston uh, with the question, will ASCT or autologous stem cell transplant remain the standard of care in myeloma within five years? And I was uh, hired here to come and argue for no. I went through the literature and I thought about it a lot. And I created a case where I said, first of all, things tend to change both in life and in medicine. Uh, along those same lines, if we look at how patients with myeloma have uh, been able to benefit from all the new drugs, we see how survival has really changed over time. And I made a case looking, say, 10, 15 years ago, the average survival for patients without transplantation, they only had a two, three year overall survival. While patients who underwent transplant at that time had an increase by two or three years, so it was five or six years. And then I said, so this is fantastic. And you could argue that this really sets the stage for arguing pro the use of transplant. But the next part of my talk, I said, let's take a look in 2019. Now we start seeing data sets where we actually have evidence of sustained MRD negativity that goes more than five years after completed combination therapy without transplants. So we're not talking about patients not living for five years. We're talking about patients sustaining MRD negativity beyond five years. It's not even met the median sustained MRD negativity with all these new treatments. And further on, uh, I argued and said, if we take a look what happens in patients who receive melphalan uh, on a genomic note, we actually start seeing new patterns that we have not really recognized in the past because patients, they used to not live that long. And I share data from some of our very new ongoing genomic studies where we show that uh, in the newly diagnosed setting, you can see very many recurrent mutations in myeloma. But if you have patients who have relapsed after a transplant, if you compare their genomic signatures, there are signatures of certain mutations that only can be seen after melphalan. And if these patients relapse and you treat them and they relapse again and you treat them, they will always keep these same uh, signatures of damage. And melphalan, which is part of the so-called transplant, is a DNA-damaging drug. And lastly, uh, there is also evidence that patients who receive melphalan in the transplant setting, they have, compared to the general population, a 50-fold increased risk of developing acute myeloid leukemia and a 100-fold increased risk for developing myelodysplastic syndrome compared to the general population. And this is with follow-up up to 10 years. And given that more and more patients are living longer and longer, I think all these facts point in the same direction, namely that it's time to move on and focus on the new drugs. And therefore, a SCT or autologous stem cell transplant will not be around in five years. And this was my assigned topic.